Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, my channel, Peter. Boom, 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 bam, 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 review stuff. And I am back for another review video. And today we're doing a little bit of a food review, but also a little bit of a technical review. And um, I was going to do this over on my Peter Does Stuff channel, but since it's like reviewing... I don't know. It's I, I'm reviewing a, a kitchen appliance, so to speak. Um, I thought I would do it over here, and that is that I am reviewing the Nostalgia Deluxe Grilled Cheese Sandwich Toaster. Here it is. Let me get a thumbnail going here. And I am so excited about this. Um, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Hold on, before I get into opening it, you can see that on the cover there is a very, very melted toasty cheese. I can't wait. I love grilled cheese sandwiches. They're like my favorites of life. Okay, so anyway, on here it says, these are all the things, makes two grilled cheese sandwiches at a time, extra wide slots, fit two toasting baskets that cradle and hold sandwiches in place, Adjustable toasting dial to make the perfect grilled cheese. Cancel preheat and defrost functions. Cool touch housing and handles for safe handling. Card wrap for tidy storage. Okay. And then on the back, it shows you like everything, right? And um, extra, here you can see. Well, I'm going to show you in just a second. But this is what it looks like. You have the little cartridges that you put in there. And it says extra wide slots fit two toasting baskets that keep sandwiches in place. Okay. Cool touch handles and knobs. Those are those. Um, press down lever to cook. Cancel preheat and defrost functions. Adjustable toasting dial. Now, I actually watched a... Um, hold on, let me pull this out. I actually... Woo, I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Okay, so the first thing are... I'm not going to have to put this all together. <laughs> the first thing are the toasting skewers. <laughs> baskets. I don't know how we will use it. I'll read the directions in just a second. Um, I actually looked at a little video online. You can put like avocado. I don't know. I'm not a vegetarian. I'm, I'm not a vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian, so I wouldn't put bacon. But you could put bacon in here. You can put whatever you want to put, okay? Um, tomato. Tomato. You say tomato. I say tomato. I don't say tomato. I say tomato. I'm a vegetarian. I'm not a vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian. I am. I'm a vegetarian. And, and I say tomato. I don't say tomato. I can't speak today. So here here it is. Hold on a second. Let's pull this out. Boo Radley is so excited. He's like standing here right next to me. He's like, Dad, what is going on? Boo Radley, what is going on is that we're cooking in the kitchen today. Okay. So this is what it looks like when you take this off. It, oh, it's so, it's so cute. It says the ultimate comfort food, deluxe grilled cheese nostalgia. And this is what it looks like inside. And then the lever goes down like that. Then you can see on the side, it has this dial that goes from one all the way to seven. Preheat, defrost, melt zone. Okay. So I'm going to read the directions. I'm actually going to put you guys on a tripod in just a second so I can show you. Should I do that now? I feel like I should do that now. So hold on. I'm going to put you on the tripod. Okay, so here we go. Now I have the cheese for the sandwich, and I have the butter for the sandwich. I don't have the bread. I didn't bring the bread. Hold on a second. How are you going to make a grilled cheese with no bread? I have the bread for the sandwich that my husband got, and then we have the, the deluxe grilled cheese maker, and here are the instructions. So let's go in here and let's read the instructions how to operate page six all right here we go place a unit on stable stable service near an electrical outlet away from any water source plug the appliance in an electrical outlet okay so why is this get all that going all right i will say this is like not super heavy duty it's kind of like very plastic all right, plugged it in. Okay, there we go. There we go, there's the source. Okay, butter the outside of the two pieces of bread. All right, so I also have a plate right here for the deliciousness of the sandwich when we're done. Here's the two pieces of bread. 
clean up as you go. Isn't this so exciting? Okay, need a knife. Butter. Okay. So let's make a grilled cheese. I love grilled cheeses. How about you, Boo Radley? He said, I've never had one, Dad, but I think I'd probably love one. Okay, there is piece number one. I probably put too much butter on it. Little unknown fact about me. I don't really know how to cook a grilled cheese sandwich like in a pan like people do. Like, I don't know how to do that, which is why I keep on buying all these sandwich makers. Okay. Okay, so there's the uh, two. Oh, that plate came in real handy. Clean up as you go. Put the butter back. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Okay, put the butter. Clean up as you go. Okay. Then let's see. Butter the outside of the two pieces of bread. As such, we did that. Okay. Build your sandwich using favorite grilled cheese ingredients. For recipe ideas, see the recipe section of this manual. When assembling your sandwich, be sure the buttered side of each piece of bread is facing outward. Okay, that's kind of common sense, I think. So, put the bread down there. I'm going to put three pieces of cheese on this grilled cheese because the bread is kind of big. So, put the cheese. I don't know if you can see it. I'm assembling the sandwich as we go. I'll put two pieces. I should probably put four, but I'm only going to put two. Because this is like a demonstration deal, right? Okay. And then, or I'm only going to put three, I mean. Okay. And then put that third one, like, kind of, like, in the middle like that. Okay. There I have a sim... Oh, no, 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 damn it, Janet. <laughs> Need to leave the butter on the outside of the sandwich. Okay. Okay, so, um, pro tip, visit the helpful tip section of the manual. <laughs> pro tip is probably to leave the butter on the outside. Okay. Preheat the toaster by pressing down on the control level. Control, preheat, control level, preheat, preheat. It's not doing anything. <laughs> oh my god, why is this only me that this kind of stuff happens to? Okay, preheat. Preheat the toaster by pressing down on the control level. Is that this? No, that's not that. When done preheating, the control level will pop up. Insert your prepared sandwich into the toasting basket. Okay, so here are the toasting baskets. Oh, I can feel it's getting warm. Okay, so here are the toasting baskets. Okay, already this fell off. <laughs> so we got to pop that back in. I will say this is probably not the high. Oh, and it went into the little hole. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, my God. This is not like the highest class. Um thing in the world, I would say. Like, it's kind of, I would say, I, oh, it keep, well, it's not going to go in there like I want it to, to. Oh, there it did. It just, I fixed it. Oh, my Lord. And basically, okay. So, here's what the toasting thing looks like. So, you're going to put the sandwich in there. Okay. When done preheating, Okay, when done preheating, the control level will pop up. Insert your prepared sandwich into the toasting basket. Then place the toasting basket into the toasting slot. Ah, oh, damn. It won't fit because my bread is too big. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay. So let's take, this is, this is not good. Okay, so let's take, here, I'm going to cut a little bit of this off. And then I don't want to waste that cheese, so I'm going to put that cheese back in there. Okay. So I cut this off, and I <laughs> cut this off there. <laughs> 
it's always a fun time over here at Peter Review Stuff. Okay, so here's the basket. We're gonna now put the basket into the toasting slot where it's not really going down the way that it's supposed to, okay. Okay, when done preheating the control level, okay. Depending on your preferred level of dose, doseness, adjust the toasting dial to the melt zone. Okay, so I'm gonna do, oh my God, my hands are so buttery. Okay, I'm gonna do four to six there, because that's what it's recommending, to put it in the four to six zone. After the control level pops up, allow the sandwich to sit in the toaster for about 30 seconds before removing from the toaster. This will allow the cheese to fully melt. Note, if your grilled cheese sandwich needs additional time, adjust the toasting dial to between one and four and press down the control level. Okay, so here we are waiting for it all to be done. I'm gonna clean up some as we go. This painting fell down. And here's the other, you can make two sandwiches at a time. Here's the other skewers. I don't know why I keep them calling them skewers, but anyway. All right. Put this out in the garage. Here we are, we're waiting. This is my instructional manual. Here's some recipes, if you would like to know recipes, let's see. The classic is cheddar and white bread. The pesto, pesto provolone. It's like smoking a lot. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's like, oh, it's like smoking. I don't know if that's good or not, but let's hope that this works. Okay, so here, hold on a second. Here are all the recipes. The pesto is pesto plus provolone, mozzarella, and white bread. Swiss mushroom is sauteed mushrooms and onions, plus Swiss cheese, Thousand Island dressing, and rye bread. Ooh, that kind of sounds good. Bacon and tomato, crispy bacon, tomato, or tomato, depending on how you say it, and your favorite cheese. Roast beef and brie, roast beef, Dijon mustard, brie, caramelized onions, and sourdough bread, and Spanish olive sandwich. Grated uh, manchego cheese plus sliced green olives and white bread. Hmm. I don't know what I think about all that. Does this seem to be taking like a kind of a long time to you? It seems to be taking kind of a long time to me. So I feel like we should have been having a grilled cheese sandwich by now. <laughs> or maybe I'm just thinking that because of like that's how like a regular toaster works, you know? So I don't know. Maybe if I really like this, if it turns out really good, I'll try some of the other recipes on my, um, what do you call it? On my Peter Dust Stuff channel. We'll have to see how well this turns out, first of all. If it turns out like crap, then that won't be the case. I really didn't want to make you guys wait this long, but um, I want you to see the full exciting um, idea of it popping up. Does it pop up? Hold on a second. Um, after the control level pops up, allow the sandwich, yes. It has to sit there for 30 seconds. So when it's done, it will pop up. I'm like trying to look over and see. My husband always makes his grilled cheeses on the George Foreman grill. Oh, it's done! Woo okay. So we're gonna leave it in there for 30 seconds. Oh, you take the good, you take the bad, you take. Did you ever like if if you ever worked in like a hospital setting, they tell you to like wash your hands and say you know happy birthday. You have to say happy birthday like three times, and that means your hands are washed. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Peter. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Ah. <laughs> uh... I don't want to mess it up, so I'm waiting to see. But I have to tell you already, the side effect of this grilled cheese does not look like it's, like, that great. I'm actually going to turn it down a little bit and maybe toast it a little bit more. Because it doesn't look like it is exactly how I want it to be. I'm going to put the cheese away and the butter away while we're waiting. Now watch, I'll probably burn her. I'll probably burn the grilled cheese. Should we name her? 
Gertie the Grilled Cheese. Bill Radley, what do you think about Gertie the Grilled Cheese? He said, I think that's a perfectly fine name for a grilled cheese, Dad. I would love to have a grilled, che oh, a grilled cheese named Gertie. <laughs> okay. Well, for the purpose of this video, let's just pop. How do I? How do I? Ah! <laughs> My Lord! How do I pop this up? Okay. 30 seconds. We'll wait for that. And then uh, we'll see what happens. Boo Radley, do you hear the, the neighbor dog? He's barking outside. What do you think about all that? Okay, enough of this already. So here's the sandwich. Oh, it is kind of like a little toasty when it's done. Oh, can you see it? All the cheese is melted and stuff. Oh, it's like, gotta clean that up. Okay, I'm gonna stop it, you guys. I'm gonna put you back up. Okay, I'm back. I cleaned up and put the boxes in the garage and put everything, all my fixings and the, everything in the dishwasher and rinsed them off and got everything cleaned up. So I wanted to let the sandwich cool down for a little bit. So this is what it, ah! So this is what it looks like when it's done. I have to tell you, it actually, it, I mean, the condition of it feels like almost perfect. It really does. Um, and I have to tell you, I am, I am pretty, like when it comes to grilled cheese sandwiches, I will tell you, it's like a love or hate relationship. I either love them or I hate them. So, um, I feel like the bread is like the perfect condition for a grilled cheese. So I'm gonna try it. You guys, I have to tell you, I am super impressed. I am super, super impressed with this. I don't know how much it was. I feel like it was like 20 or $30 online. But I am so impressed with this. I would, yeah, I would like make grilled cheeses all the time with this. I mean, it's really, really easy. The cleaning is super easy too. I literally like, I rinsed this off. This isn't the one that I used. Oh, here, I'll show you. This is the one that I used. And I rinsed it off and like just took the cheese out of it and whatever, and then put it in the dishwasher. So, I mean, it's really easy to, to make, and you can make two grilled cheese sandwiches, and what does it take, five minutes? You can make four of them if you're doing them for, like, lunches or whatever. I think it's really cute for a kitchen. It's also really easily easy to store. It said something about storing place, but I don't see that. I'm wondering if you can... Well, you can kind of... Is there something storing? I don't see anything about storing anything on here. Anyway. But I think it's good. I think it's delicious. Much better, much better than the uh, the sandwich maker, that the little sandwich maker that I bought. I have another panini maker right there that I bought that I'm going to be reviewing. But I think I'm gonna use this to try to make some other sandwiches on my Peter Does Stuff channel because this was really fun. So anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. But yeah, perfect grilled cheese and. Um, I'm going to save the rest of it and let my husband have it when he gets home because he loves grilled cheeses. And I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.